Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to another drawing video. Today I am doing some fan art. I actually recently got accepted into an artist alley and it's going to be my first artist alley and I realized that I don't really have a lot of fan art that I'm proud enough to sell as prints. So I decided that I'm going to be going on a kick of making a ton of fan art so get ready for some speed paints of fan art coming your way starting of course first with a Markiplier print and this idea came to me actually I was at a con last weekend and I saw some youtuber fan art that somebody was selling for prints and I got this idea for this one it's a playing card and like one end is Mark and the other end is um, Darkiplier and I want to do one for Jacksepticeye also and when I thought of this idea, I was like, okay, somebody has to have thought about this before. Because I feel like it's too much of a, like, it's like a simple-esque concept, but I still think it's a cool concept. And I really feel like someone has already made this before. So I went on a searching spree and I could not find it. Could not find it anywhere. So I really, really hope I'm the first person to think of this. If not, I am sorry. I tried looking for your work and I could not find it. So I really hope this is an original concept. And yeah, I'm going to do one for Jack also, with um, Jack on one side and Auntie, Auntie on the other. It's going to be a fun time, and I really like how this turned out actually. You know, it's really simple, and I was thinking about being more detailed with the coloring and everything, but I lately have been really into just doing most of the shading and detail with line art rather than color, which is really weird because that's the exact opposite of how I would do it for traditional art. Traditional art, I love putting so many colors and not having a lot of heavy line art, but I love heavy line art digitally. It just looks so crisp and nice and I like it a lot. So I, that's what I did for this piece. Also for a lot of my coloring and my shading, I use like effects and overlays and stuff like that instead of, you know, drawing in shading or anything like that. So I really hope that you guys like that I did that. Um, I had a lot of fun just messing around with it. I also later on add a texture to it because I thought, okay, it looks a little too smooth. I need some sort of texture. So there is texture in the colors later on. Yeah, right now I'm just doing the liner, drawing Mark. I drew him with his new glasses that I think personally makes him look like a professor from like some old timey movie or something like that. I tried, uh, I remember when I went to go get a new pair of glasses a while back, and I tried on a pair of those circular glasses, and I'm like, oh, I know a lot of people who look really good in these. I wonder if I look any good in them. And honestly, I just look like an old man. So, <laughs> those are not my style of glasses for me, but they look good on other people, and I can appreciate them on other people. Instead, I have these big old dorky glasses that I wear that I actually like a lot, and I get a lot of compliments on, so I guess they're not that bad. So yeah, here, um, I had a lot of fun time trying to get everything symmetrical and looking correct for a playing card. I, uh, I know there, that I didn't put any sort of symbol on the corner like there is on the, well I put them on the corner, but not the inside square corner if you know what I'm talking about, because there's like two clubs there you see on the card and I did not put another symbol on the inside. I was thinking about it, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put and I kind of just decided to leave it blank. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with doing evil expressions. Um, drawing really exaggerated expressions has been my favorite thing recently and I feel like having really expressive faces is my strong suit for faces because I don't think my style for faces is that I guess dif like um, differing from other styles of drawing however the way I do expressions I think is I guess you could say expressive I don't know, that's just what I've been into lately, is drawing very, very expressive faces. Exaggerated. I went in here and I'm going to do a 3D effect, so I was coloring in this thing. I know there's like an easier way to get a silhouette in Photoshop of the thing you drew, but I cannot for the life of me remember. I did it for a different piece 
for my one piece with the swamp and the swap monster. I did it for that one to help make the reflection of the trees and the water and I could not for the life of me remember how I did it. So if you guys remember, or maybe I should just go back and watch my own video and see how I did it because I cannot remember. I did not flip it a whole lot after this. I flipped it a lot for doing the liner and everything, but then coloring, I was just like, yeah, this is fine. I can, I, I wasn't planning on doing a lot of shading or anything like that. So I knew that I wouldn't really have to flip the canvas over a ton like I did before. I think another thing about not having like a lot of super detailed shading is that's what plain cards really look like. They don't have a whole lot of shading. They are mostly flat colors and bold lines. So I really was like sticking to the plain card theme with my choices that I made. Of course I chose a lot of warmer colors for a uh, regular mark and then a lot of cooler grayed down desaturated colors for dark applier. And I really wanted to get that contrast, like, but still show that they were the same person <laughs> kind of thing, you know what I mean? And so I hope that that came across okay. Yeah, I had a lot of fun working on this, and I posted a Tumblr. I never post my art to Tumblr because it gets no notes, but I told posted to Tumblr, and at this point it has 50 notes, and I'm like, hmm, what? I'm lucky if I get one. This is so weird. So yeah, that's exciting. I'm glad that people are liking it thus far and I really hope you guys like it as well. And yeah, we're kind of getting closer to the end of the video. What I do next is a lot of just touching stuff up. I do go and move the position that they are in so it's not, um because you see how mark is breaking the bounds of the playing card more than dark is that really was bugging me the entire time i was working on this and if it was bugging you too don't worry i'm about to fix it i'm about to fix it and i think it looks way better than i fixed it um it looks way more symmetrical and i'm happy i went back and did it even though i was like oh this is a pain i hate moving stuff around after i've already colored things in but yeah i go back and i'll fix it also, I did this entire thing in class, so when you see me in a second here, switch suddenly over to Adobe Animate. That's because I was in animation class and my teacher walked by and I needed to quickly switch to Adobe Animate and not work on this. So yeah, when you see a flash of something that is not Photoshop, that's what's happening. I am hiding what I'm doing. After I get all the colors touched up here, I kind of mess around with some blurs and then I finally go in and get a texture in there. It kind of took me a bit to kind of figure out what kind of texture I wanted because at first I was like, oh, I kind of want this to be glowy and I couldn't really figure out a good way to do that in Photoshop. I know how to do a glow effect in Illustrator but I'm not 100% sure how to do a glow in Photoshop, so I will figure that out one of these days. We'll see. I know you can use Color Dodge, and I do go use Color Dodge like in some areas where I decide the light is coming from. When I go and do lighting and shadows, you'll see that in a second here. So like I said, I want to do one of Jack as well with anti, um, anti and I don't know, I don't know <laughs> how to speak English apparently, but I, yeah, this one has like all those 3D effects and then I do go add kind of a little bit of a glitchy effect, but not overly powerful, but I know I'll want to add that glitchy effect when I do Jack's because that's his whole entire spiel with anti. So yeah, I'm excited to start working on that, and I don't know when I'll start working on that, but it'll probably be soon. And it'll probably be right after this one, like the next one you'll probably see is Jax. 
if I actually do it. I, I always say that, oh yeah, I'm doing this artwork next, and I'm like pretty sure I'm going to do it in the moment, but then something else comes up, and I'm like, I want to draw this instead, and then I forget about that thing that I said I was going to draw. So yeah, we'll see if I do that again. Hopefully not, because my entire idea with this was to do both of them, since they both have the dark personas. The rest of what I do is kind of, I go and put in a glitchy picture and put it in as an overlay. And I add texture. Right here I'm about to go and add uh, texture to the piece. That was just going to mess around. And yeah, that's essentially the rest of what I do. Except add a little bit more 3D effect. And that's all I really want to talk about for this piece. I'm really happy how it turned out. And I really hope you guys like how it turned out. So I'm going to let music play out for the rest of us. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!